Sally's Baking Addiction uses a blotted method to reduce the pumpkin moisture and flattens the cookies before baking for spread. Dry and crisp on the outside, the interior is pleasantly tender and lightly spiced with an earthy pumpkin flavor. These weren't quite as buttery as I'd want in a cookie, though. In Bloom Bakery's recipe also uses a blotting method to reduce the pumpkin moisture and tasted quite similar to Ambitious Kitchen, but with a slightly denser, fudgier texture. I thought Ambitious Kitchen had a slight edge flavor-wise, but both were amazing snickerdoodles. I Will Not Eat Oysters calls for reducing pumpkin and cornstarch for less moisture. These were puffy, gooey, and vibrantly orange. With a crisp exterior and a bit of a cakey texture, the chocolate was a bit overbearing, but the pumpkin still managed to shine through with a very pumpkin-forward flavor. Butternut Bakery uses brown butter, egg yolks, maple syrup, and very little pumpkin. While similar-ish to Bigger Boulder Baking, this cookie was flat, soft, and bendy when you break it apart. Fudgy and chewy in the center, the flavor is all rich, toasty brown butter, maple, and cinnamon. This cookie was absolutely stunning, even if it didn't scream pumpkin. And the twist, if you want more than just my opinion, I had more than 30 tasters rank these cookies, so check out my blog to find the crowd favorite and for an in-depth summary of each cookie.